All right, so when you're solving um, systems of linear equations um, with matrices, you would use elementary row operations to do that. Um, so what? So what are these elementary row operations? So there's three three things you can do um, with the rows of a matrix. You can swap two rows. You can multiply a row by a scalar um, as long as it's not zero. And you can add a multiple of one row um, to another. Okay, so I'll give you examples of all three. So let's just make up a random matrix here. A matrix being just an organization of numbers into rows and columns. So um, let's just say 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and when you do these uh, row operations, it's a very good idea to... Um, keep track of what you're doing and 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 notate what you're doing because um, these things you you know if you're if you're dealing with matrices of any size at all and you're performing these row operations it can take a lot of work uh, in the sense of like a lot of writing on your on your paper or the computer screen or whatever and it, it's very easy to lose track of what you're doing and, and if uh, if you make a mistake as we all do often especially when doing things by hand like this um, that are, you know, perhaps better done by computers. Uh, you want to have notes for yourself so you can kind of go back and check your work. So I'll try to show you um, a good example of that. Okay, so there's, or there's these are uh, things we can do. Um, so you, you can swap two rows. So it would be valid to transform my matrix like this and say I'm going to put row one here. I want to put row two here, and arrows like that is that's good enough. That's pretty clear what that means. So I've just swapped two rows. Okay, um, you can multiply a row by a non-zero scalar. So for example, um, I'm going to multiply um, row one by three. So this is becoming three times row one. Okay, row two stays the same. I didn't do anything to that. But row uh, one is now going to be three times what it once was. So seven times three is 21. Eight times three is 24. Nine times three is 27. All right. Uh, let me just rewrite that matrix as it is now down here. 21, 24, and 27. 1, 2, 3. Okay, and you can do these things in any order. I could now, I can now decide to to swap the rows again. Uh, I'm gonna s swap the rows. Um, and uh, actually. Okay, so let me give you an example. This is kind of the most involved, the most complex. Adding a multiple of one row to another. Now, that multiple can be one. You can simply add one row to another. Um, so let's say that um, row two is going to be, um, its new value is going to be row one plus row two. So I'm going to take the current values of row 2 and I'm going to add the values of row 1 to them. So 21 plus 1 is 22. 24 plus 2 is 26. 27 plus 3 is 30. Um, and then row 1 stayed the same, so 1, 2, 3. Okay, again, let me rewrite that matrix. Uh, so this is like saying, I'm. what is the multiple of the other row, uh, of row 2? Um, um, or I'm say, it's like I'm saying, take one times row one and add it to row two. That's what I meant. All right, so I'll give you a little bit more exciting example. So I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take row two and I'm gonna add it uh, by a multiple of row th uh, of row. Th um, one, 
I'm going to add three times row one. So I'm going to take the current values of row two and add the values of row one times three to it to make that new row. Okay, so row row one is staying itself. Okay, now uh, row two. All right, take the current value, 22 plus three times one. Three times one is three, plus 22 is 25. Okay, 26 plus three times uh, two. Three times two is six, plus 26 is 32. Um, 30 plus three times three. Three times three is nine, plus 30, 39. So I've, I've added a multiple of row one to row two to create the new row two. So those are the three basic or elementary row operations, um, swapping two rows, multiplying a row by a scalar uh, other than zero. You can't, you can't just multiply a row by zero. Um, and uh, adding a multiple of one row to another. And why, you know, what is all this about? Well, um, this is, you use matrices to solve linear equations. So maybe you have something like this, 2x plus 6y, uh, and uh, um, 4x plus 5y equals 9 or something. Um, well, you know, with the elimination method, um, I, I might multiply this whole equation by negative 2. So I've got negative 2 times x is negative 4x. And if I were to add these equations, that would you know, be 0. Negative 2 times 6y, negative 12. You know. So it, you're doing these kinds of things, but only when the system is, is symbolized as a matrix. Um, so basically, what you can do to systems of linear equations, if you're solving them this way, is, is what you can do to the, to the rows of the matrix. Um, because the, the rows of the matrix symbolize uh, a linear equation. Um, uh, but you're doing it in a, in a, believe it or not, more compact form because you're only dealing with the coefficients of, of the ex um, variable expression. So, All right, those are the three elementary row operations. Swapping two rows, that counts. That's valid. Multiplying a row by a scalar other than zero and adding a multiple of one row to another.